I'm Jean Meserve, live from VNN headquarters in Washington, D.C. After four weeks of threats from the hacktivist network The Void, it appears that today their words have turned into action. At a press conference this morning, Worldwide Global CEO Barton Ramsey announced that his company was under cyber siege and that The Void was responsible. Mr. Ramsey joins us live. Welcome to VNN, Mr. Ramsey. Uh, thanks for having me on, Gene. First, you said today that Worldwide Global is under cyber attack. Can you give us more detail on the nature of that attack? So far, we've seen The Void attack two aspects of our business. First, there was a failed attempt to transfer funds from one of our company accounts to an overseas bank by an unauthorized user. Our bank's security protocols questioned the validity of the transfer during the process, and it was canceled just minutes prior to being activated. Additionally, several of our valued overseas clients in Europe and Asia received false invoices today. It seems that the hackers manipulated our systems and sent them. You said today, Mr. Ramsey, that the void was responsible. How exactly do you know that? Well, we combined the resources of our internal security team with two cybersecurity specialty firms. Together, they were able to analyze the code that was inserted into our systems. When they took a look at it, the code had several signature-like elements to it that had been seen from the void in the past. Was this a zero-day attack, meaning did this attack expose security issues that you didn't even know existed? I can say, Gene, that if we knew any flaws existed, we would have patched them immediately. We have a sterling security record until today, and we will get back on track. And we will do our best to see that these criminals pay for what they've done. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Ramsey. Thank you, Gene. Turning first to business news, it appears that there were more cyber attacks on Worldwide Global this morning. This time, the hacktivist network The Void is openly claiming responsibility and acknowledging that this is a follow-up to their actions one week ago. Here's how the attack unfolded. At 9 a.m., all employees of Worldwide Global received emails from The Void that were masked, so they appeared to come from an email address within the company. This indicates that the void has infiltrated the company's internal communication systems and has some control over activities like creating and possibly deleting company email accounts. At noon, the company's public-facing website began to slow down, and by 1 p.m., it wasn't functioning at all because the void had inundated the company's servers that pushed the site to millions of customers. Just before we came on the air, we received notice that CEO Barton Ramsey had released the following statement, and I quote, Today has been a trying day for Worldwide Global. In addition to the two cyber attacks, I'm sorry to share that we are receiving extortion threats from the void. They are threatening to release sensitive company information unless we give in to their demands. I want to make it clear to these perpetrators, as well as our employees, customers, and stakeholders, we will not be doing so. At this time, it's not clear what type of information the void may have or what demands it has made, but this is certainly another in a series of trying days for Worldwide Global and its CEO. Welcome again, Mr. Ramsey. Uh, thanks for having me back, Gene. With worldwide global stocks continuing to tumble and multiple investigations now underway into the cyber attacks on your company, I hear there's some good news today. Yes, Gene. Of course, we're not happy any of this occurred, and we continue to engage with law enforcement and cybersecurity specialists looking into every aspect of how this happened. But we are relieved to say that we are rid of the void. You are rid of the void? What do you mean? Well, at, at about 3 p.m. today, our company intranet page was replaced with a simple message from the void that read, it's over, but don't forget that we're always watching. We are confident that this is a direct result of the efforts I just mentioned, including working with law enforcement and bolstering our security efforts. So they hacked into your intranet to wave the white flag? Uh, yes, Gene, where some people see tongue-in-cheek humor, others see crimes. And we are working with those others to get to a point where we can prosecute the void to the fullest extent of the law. 
Mr. Ramsey, it was reported today that worldwide global employees received phishing emails like those seen here a little over a month ago, and that this was one way that the void exploited your security flaws. I really can't comment on the validity of the emails you're presenting here, but I will confirm that phishing emails were used by the void. Yes, what I want to emphasize, though, is that I'm just relieved to get on with business and to re-engage with our customers everywhere. Over the past two months, shifting focus to cyber terrorism became necessary for me, but now that we've taken care of the void, my full focus is back to what we all do best, and that's serving our clientele. Well, Mr. Ramsey, we wish you the best in those efforts. Thank you, Jean. And when we return, we'll take a look at how small businesses can improve their cybersecurity employee training with an installment of our News in Action series. Until then, stay tuned in right here with VNN.